Hello YouTube, how's everyone been? Um, this is uh, episode 2 of games I've been playing. Uh, I've got four titles here, just wanted to sort of give my uh, thoughts and opinions on some games that I've been playing recently. Uh, two console games and two handheld games. First one I have, uh, this is actually a game that I've completed. I have already spoken about this game, so I will be brief. Um, the game is The Last of Us. Um, this is a fantastic game. I really sort of like got immersed into this game. The moment I put it on, I was just addicted to it. Um, I mean, you've you've been you've heard. I'm sure you've probably heard the reviews about this game, um, and it is it is really really a great game. Great storyline, great characters. Um, surprisingly, there's not a lot of um, sort of set pieces. Um, usually, these sort of big budget AAA titles have these sort of like cinematic sequences and stuff and there, and there are a, a couple here but um, I would say it's probably a lot more downbeat than say the Uncharted series um, but it doesn't matter because what what is really good about this game it does have a lot of atmosphere and you really do in get, inv get invested in the characters and uh, it just carries a great storyline and um, it was just it was fantastic um, really really excellent game uh, I'm I'm happy to say that I, I'm glad that I paid full price for it because it was definitely worth paying full price for because um, you know it's one of those games where I thought about waiting but there was just so much content online about it that you know at some point or another it was gonna get ruined for me so I figured you know I want to play it as soon as uh, and I'm glad I did really fantastic game um, you know, if you have a PlayStation 3, I, I highly recommend getting Last of Us. Um, I know some people have said um, that there are some bugs in this and, and, and stuff like that. I, I personally, I've, I, I did encounter one glitch during a mission, um, but nowhere near to the level of what people have been saying. Um, I've not encountered any of these sort of off the wall moments of uh, these strange bugs. I haven't. Uh, I, I encountered one bug, and uh, it was easily remedied. So, but definitely, definitely worth getting, guys. This is such. If you like story based games uh, with with action, definitely check this one out. Uh, next game I've been playing. Um, I'm still sort of. I'm a good few hours into this one, but I've still. You know, I I sort of stopped playing it for a little bit. I sort of got up to a boss. And I sort of left it for a bit, and that is um, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Um, as a big fan, I'm a very big fan of, I'm a huge fan of the Metal Gear Solid series. And granted, I did know this was not, this is not a stealth game. I, I knew that going in. This is a third-person action game, which is cool because I love those as well. Um, and I like the character of Raiden. Um, I, I love the graphics, the controls are excellent, um, you know, the controls definitely feel very intuitive, um, so it, it plays really well, uh, but I have to say, so far, and I'm a good few hours into this game, I'm quite disappointed with it, um, you know, that's not to say I, I, I was disappointed because it, you know, didn't have any real stealth or, you know, it wasn't Metal Gear, you know, Five. No, that, that's not that's not what disappointed me about this game. It's the level design. Um, I find the levels to be quite short and uh, fairly plain. Like there's not much in them, and um, the, the boss battles are quite challenging and quite interesting. Um, and some of the fighting techniques are a lot of fun to do, but I've personally found this game to be kind of empty. Um, so, I definitely think this this game, if it ever spawns a series, has a lot of potential. Because Raiden is a great character and I, and I do enjoy playing as Raiden. But, um, I have to say I've, I've not been inclined to go back to this game. Though I will go back to this game, I will complete it. But, um, I have to say, I have been let down by this. Um, I was expecting it to be better. Um... I mean, they have the core mechanics down, but I think more interesting levels and uh, probably a deeper story 
would have made this game uh, better. But who knows? Like I said, I'm only about halfway into this game. I'm a good few hours into this game. Um, so I'm hoping the story picks up. But, um, you know, it's it's okay. Uh, you know, but it's not going to convince... If you're a fan of Metal Gear and you're just sort of craving for more games set in that world, this probably isn't going to satisfy that urge. But uh, it's, it's, it's a fun game. Um... There's a lot of potential in this game, but I feel that uh, it kind of missed the mark a little bit. The next couple of games here are handheld games. Uh, first one is Thor, God of Thunder on the DS. I've been spending a lot of time with this game. Uh, I haven't had much chance to play on my console, so I've been doing a lot of handheld gaming. And I have to say, I've been really putting a lot of hours into this game. And it is so much fun. Um, I'm quite a few levels into it now. Um, there is uh, quite a lot of levels. Each level is split into three chapters. I'm currently on on um, level six, chapter two. And the game is pretty challenging, but not too difficult. Um, I, I sort of managed to sort of work my way through. It took a few tries, but, uh, you know, in every sort of th second or third try, I managed to get a little bit further. The boss battles are quite challenging. Um, I got stuck on this one boss on the ice level. It took me a few goes to beat him, but once you, once I learned the pattern, um, I was able to, um, eventually overcome it. Uh, I'm now, like, on a fire level, and I have to say the fire level is very hard. Um, it is, there's a, there's a section where it sort of starts to rain, um, rain fire and it depletes your energy and there's no cover and, uh, the, the enemies take a long time to beat. So while you're trying to fight them off, um, the, the, uh, the, the rain of fire comes down on you, is depleting your energy. So a lot of times I find that my energy depletes to zero before I can even finish, uh, some of the characters and it's really really tough and I end up dying so I'm currently stuck on it but uh, I have to say this is a fantastic game um, I've really been enjoying it highly recommended um, if you've got a DS uh, if you if you like your 2D side-scrolling action games definitely recommend this one guys um, yeah it's a lot of fun um, but yeah the bosses can be very tricky but like I say if you just persist at it um, you will get better. And finally, the game I've been playing, and this I've been playing on uh, my 3DS, and that is um, Super Mario 3D Land. Um, this game is fantastic. I've, I've really, really loved this game. Um, I mean, I, I didn't know what to expect because I wasn't that crazy about uh, Super Mario 64, so I wasn't too sure. This was actually the next sort of 3D Mario game that I've played and um, I didn't know if I was going to like it or not, if I, if I wasn't going to get into it and uh, fortunately I have, uh, this is a fantastic game, I've gone quite far into it, um, I still haven't completed it yet but I'm, I'm quite well into the game now and uh, it's phenomenal play it with the 3D, it's brilliant, um, just as good if you just play it in standard mode uh, the great level design um, some of the levels can be quite tricky, uh, but I th but I think trying to get all the large gold coins from each level. There's three on each level. Trying to get all of them is what makes makes the game quite tricky. I mean, the levels aren't too too challenging, but if you try to to find all the coins, that's where the challenge is. And uh, it's it's been a fantastic game. This really is um, one of the sort of first modern Mario games that I've really enjoyed. Because before this I sort of um, played, you know, the new Super Mario Brothers. Um, I sort of enjoyed those because they're 2D, um, because I, that's, that's the Mario that I know. So this is the first sort of 3D Mario game that I've sort of spent a dedicated amount of time to. And I've really enjoyed it. This is a brilliant game. Highly recommend it. So that, that's it guys, so those are the games I've been playing. Um, please let me know if, uh, if any of those games you've been playing, what you think of those games. Um, 
what are you guys playing? Let me know. Uh, so that's it, guys. Uh, I will be back very soon. So uh, stay tuned. Bye-bye.